Hey everybody, welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. I'm Sarah, and I've already flipped the bottom of this hutch. We turned it into a buffet, I painted it white and gold, looked gorgeous, and we sold it like that. But now I'm stuck with the top, and I've been putting off doing it because I've never done a hutch top before, but I've seen it done, and I know it can be done. So let's see how we're gonna do it. I just broke a pane of glass. So now I'm just kind of slowly working, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about it. For some reason or another, it caught, like the, the molding came down too far, so it caught up top, so it, it fell, it broke. Nobody was injured, <laughs> which I guess is the good thing. But now I am, down a pane of glass. So. My paint color today is called Unplugged. It is by Home Depot's Bear line and I have it in their chalk paint. I'm going to take a picture of the top of the can and add it to a community post on my channel. So if you want to use this color, you can reference it there. It's not an actual chalk paint color per se, so not everyone at your Home Depot paint counter will know how to mix it. But if you get someone who's experienced, or you simply show them the top of the can where the code is, they will be able to replicate this color for you. It's one of my favorites and I've used it on three different pieces now and I will definitely be using it again in the future. It's simply a beautiful modern deep green. After two coats and a few touches up here and there, my paint was good and ready to be sealed. However, I started my next project and decided 
to clean it right next to where I had this project sitting. And guess what? I oversprayed my crud cutter onto the painted piece. So I had to scrub that part down and paint it again because the crud cutter left spots. But after that was done, I moved on to waxing. I'm using clear wax to seal this piece and I'm going to put on several coats for good protection. I apply the wax liberally and then once it sits the appropriate amount of time as directed on the can, I come back through with a cloth and buff it back out. Well, I start to reassemble this and get to, whoa, the glass back in. How about we talk about numbers? Now, the whole hutch I purchased for $8 at an auction. Absolute steal. I was like, grab it and go fast before they change their minds. But I've already sold the bottom of the hutch and that covered the whole price. So technically, this hutch top was free. Technically, the paint was free for me too because when I do a project I estimate about $10 per project and that quart of paint only cost me $20 and it's already done two projects. So technically for me the paint was free. Now the wax was not free. We'll estimate about $5 for that. The legs they were free. A friend gave me a coffee table that her dog had chewed up. So I ended up tossing the chewed up tabletop, but I kept the legs. And that's what you'll see on this piece. The hardware to put the legs on was about $10. And the broken glass, I've decided I'm just going to leave the two graded panels glassless and put the two panels of glass in there. And then I'll have an extra panel of glass just in case I break one putting it back. So altogether, this project cost me $15. Now I'm considering adding a wooden sash to the bottom to connect the legs. So let me know down in the comments if you think that would greatly enhance the piece and be worth my time or if it's fine the way it is. I really appreciate everyone for joining me on today's adventure and I look forward to sharing my next project with you. Check down below and make sure you're subscribed and while you're there, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it helps YouTube know to share my content with others. Until next time and next project, I'm Sarah with our furniture flipping adventure. Bye for now.